Oh, that was him? What a dick. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're gonna be checking out episode two of Oshinoko. And I wanna say thank you to everybody for checking out uh, episode one. And also the idol video as well. It's what led me on this whole journey in the first place. I've been reading all of your comments on um, suggestions and the additional information that you've given me on the anime itself or the music. I saw that some of you wanted me to check out the lyrics for uh, what they used for the outro in the first episode, which I'm assuming is now the new intro. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do that after the episode. It'll be the easiest way for me to edit it all together and stuff like that, and also avoid uh, copyright issues as well. When it comes to music videos, I don't really mind, you know, getting copyright claims and stuff like that because I, I know I don't stop the video at all at any point, but that's also on purpose because I kind of feel like watching music videos or listening to music and pausing it every five to 10 seconds is annoying. And uh, if I find that annoying, I can only assume you find it annoying too. So I just let it play. I let the copyright gods come down on me and, and they demonetize the video. I don't mind that at all when it comes to music videos. You know, I fully accept that I'm not making money on any of that stuff. It's purely for my enjoyment and for your enjoyment. But help me, I'm poor. And I saw that some of you in the comments have noticed that and appreciate that. And I appreciate that too, that you noticed that. Just quick thoughts on episode two or like expectations. Um, I'm hoping we can continue continue with the good pacing. Um, I feel like the first episode was as long as it was in order to get out, you know, the big, the twists, get all of those out of the way. And now we can pace ourselves for just, you know, shorter episodes, but hopefully the, the pacing of the short episodes have some good momentum going forward. That's my hope for episode two, that we just kind of keep that going and keep it every uh, episode Interesting. Guys, feel free to check out my Patreon. We're going to have the full reactions over there. There's also edited and full reactions to other animes over there. And uh, we do have a Discord server, so feel free to jump on that if you want to. And uh, we'll go ahead and check this out. I know the words are supposed to be depressing and all that stuff and dark, but it's a banger. Oh my god, so many applicants. Uh, is Ruby trying out? Yeah. Well, she's gotta have a leg up, right? Because she's the daughter of I, right? Oh, it's not her first time. She's been denied before. So she's not as good of a singer. Yeah, so she's got like a, a second chance. アイドルになれば受験勉強なんてしなくてよくて一石二鳥。豆知識感覚で人生かけたギャンブルすんな。アイドルを夢見るのは構わん。いや、いどかなにだっていうのしたいことをするのが人生でしょコストとかリターンとか言ってたら何もできない。何もできないまま終わる人生だって。That's true too. You got to have there's got to be a balance in there ideally. Not that I listened to that, that particular advice I just gave, but so this is for me too. You got to balance your life out. ichigo Oh, the group fell apart. Yeah, I mean, I can only imagine that making idols and stuff like that is like capturing lightning in a bottle. Like it has to be the right people, the right music, at the right time, the right place. Like everything has to be like perfect for things to just blow up. Uh, she didn't make it. Well, at least she got a call back. I think uh, 
I think some places probably <laughs> don't ever call you just to tell you that you didn't make it. That's awesome that that lady's still in her life, though. She really did take her under her wing and, and look after her. Oh, that was him? What a dick! Oh, that's fucked up. I mean, I get... Oh, he's about to explain it, okay. That's fucked up, though, man. You can't get in the way of, like, people's dreams like that. So, I mean, she. So, then it means she was never getting rejected to begin with, right? <laughs> Though I think they have the right idea to be skeptical at first. Uh, this little relationship here has like really gotten to me. I really like her now. What's he doing now? スカートさん若いし、立ちの悪い勧誘かと思っちゃいました。立ちの悪い悪夢だわ。今どういう感じの条件で働いてるの？そこから衣装代とかもろもろ引かれていって移動費とかメイク代とかも自腹だから月収十
Now he's got to say it again. <laughs> this would be happening if I was living with my mom. I'd have a messy place. I'd be on premiere editing. <laughs> it's common though for people to live with their families, right? In Japan. Even if you aspire to be somebody, you can never be them, just like they can't be you either. So you you have to figure out what makes you different, makes you special. I would have laughed if Aqua was the one to blow up on that last part at the mom. Yeah. He's he's gonna be a genius, obviously. Oh, his rival. どれだっけ。あ、あれじゃない。ちゃららららららららら。急走なめる天才子役。あ、あれじゃない。ちゃららららららら。映画で共演した有馬かな。おお。久しぶり。ここの芸能家だったのか。そう、ファリー。帰る
You'll never appear again. You're the rebirth of the first star. With that smile, I love you. Everyone is mesmerized by you. Even if your eyes and your words are lies, it's still a perfect eye. Still the perfect eye. Yes, yes, she's special. We're just extras from the sidelines. We're B-grade supporting roles for a star. It's not all thanks to her. This isn't a joke. I can't forgive you precisely. You're not perfect. I can't forgive you. Must be one of a kind. No, no. That's what makes the real eye. Wow, these lyrics are pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it definitely sums up that whole first episode for sure. And it's an interesting conversation being had because it's like back and forth. Sometimes you feel like it's from the perspective of I, sometimes from fans. Um, and then it's back to I again, you know, talking directly to her kids or to the fans. That's crazy, man. And you know, does this for multiple different songs. That's actually really amazing. Wow. So, so yeah, I mean, so episode two overall, pretty good episode, actually. My fear was that if it wasn't about the, the, the main arc, which is, you know, finding out who gave who information and who the father is and stuff like that, um, that maybe there wasn't going to be enough to work with or at least enough to like make me interested. But that was actually interesting. I actually found all of that interesting. And the episode really wasn't a lot about about the former. I think this is a, a good show so far. You know, I'm still waiting for a short form episode that can really knock us out with, with some sort of event. And no doubt it will do that eventually, but I'm just wondering like how consistent can it do that? But with this episode, I'm at least convinced that if even if we have episodes that don't have that sort of thing, it could still be an interesting episode and give us good character development and push things forward instead of just this is what a character's problem is and but like nothing comes from it, you know, um, which here we actually made steps forward. So figure out what Ruby's shortcomings were, um, if any, and actually what Aqua's shortcomings are, if any. We were able to get through that one way or another, you know, and I'm glad we were able to get through Aqua's little situation because I don't think I would have liked it if he successfully stopped Ruby. Because, yeah, again, I'm just not a big fan of, you know, stepping on people's dreams like that. You can't protect anybody forever. You know, and unfortunately, as much as you want to protect kids and, you know, from what's coming at them, at some point, they got to live their lives and make their own decisions, you know, and you, you did what you did. And as long as you, you know, you tried your best and all that stuff, you've got nothing to worry about. You have, you've got no re regrets. And, and yeah, and in death situations, you can end up like blaming yourself for maybe you should have done something different or whatever, but it's not really fair to do that to yourself because you never, you didn't know what was going to happen. That would only be a fair thing to do to yourself if you knew what was going to happen and you still did it anyway, or rather didn't do it, you know, whatever the, the context of the situation is, then maybe you've got a point. I need to remember uh, what that other character's name is. I'm afraid to look up anything about about the story so because i don't want any spoilers but um the um the babysitter the who, who now runs uh, strawberry productions love her <laughs> it's funny that I, I almost think she's like my favorite character and, and she's the only like the only person i don't remember her, her name is but i love her i love her relationship with ruby i don't know if it was so much uh telegraphed but i at least was already thinking i was like why doesn't she just manage her because she obviously cares about her beyond whatever money she can make her because i think even if it was a total loss she would still support ruby and I, I i also hope we get that moment get a moment where ruby acknowledges her as her mother because like it's great that she stated the rules up front and was like i know i'm not your mom i is always going to be your mom but i would like to be there for you and stuff like that but it, we i hope we get that you know, a really touching moment where she, she gets acknowledged as a mother. And like, I think that would be amazing. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. But anyway, um, I, I think that's going to be it for me, guys. Great second episode and hope you enjoyed the reaction and I'll see you next time.